It doesn't matter where you live. You have to plan and have a action plan put in place on how you survive your own little elements of life. Because like I said, it's different wherever you are. The plan is still basically the same. There is a basic plan that goes no matter wherever you live. You have to have first water. Water is the number one thing that you have to make sure that you can either store, you can gather, you can purify, and you can make it so that it is drinkable so that you can survive. You can survive a lot longer without food than you can without water. Your body will shut down if you do not have water. Second is food. All right. So all different types of food from your dry goods, canned goods, whatever. Food is number two. That's the two pieces of the pie. Then you have to move into all the other things that you're going to need. And this is where it's going to come into play on where you live and how you have to plan. You may want to make sure you have a really good first aid kit. I would highly suggest that you do have a, a decent first aid kit and try to build a better first aid kit for down the road. Because you see, folks, this is what is going to happen. If something majorly goes down, the ambulances and stuff aren't going to be able to roll out to thousands of people if they need help. And what happens if one of those people could be your wife, your husband, your kids, your parents, your grandparents? If you have basic knowledge on first aid and you can you can read about it, you can buy books on it, basic basic knowledge. I'm not saying here, hey, you know, you need to be, a, you know, an RN, an EMT. Um, you know, whatever basic knowledge of first aid will get you a long ways. All right. Now, obviously you're not going to be doing blunt surgery out there. You're not going to be taking out somebody's kidney or something like that. But if somebody breaks an arm, breaks a leg, got a severe cut and your first aid kits, you can have ways to, well, Mend them up a little bit and try to um, do the best you can until you can get them to the proper authorities, if that's possible. You know, I mean, there's ways you can stop bleeding. There's ways that you can make slings. There's ways that you can make things to carry people if you're not in your home or something. With using either sticks, you could use a fence post. There's different ways. You have to be able to get creative. Basic knowledge of first aid is going to go a long ways in an SHTF situation or any type of a natural disaster type situation that could be at any point in time. 